A piece of the national movement for police reform will now become part of the debate in the Maine legislature. Lawmakers are being asked to end qualified immunity from lawsuits for police officers. It is something that legislatures in just two other states, Colorado and New Mexico, have done in the past year. But will Maine lawmakers do the same? Those critical of police say it will force better decisions and accountability. But those in law enforcement say it's just one more thing to drive people away from police work. Here's New Center, Maine's Don Carrigan. A mental health case, a police chase, and shots fired. It happened in Minot early last year. Jason Gora was shot to death, and his aunt, Dale Boyce, says police handled it badly. What happened where their actions were wrong? Their training went out the window. Three of these Boyce told the story of her nephew's death to legislators on the Judiciary Committee to make the case for ending qualified immunity for police officers. That's a law that allows judges to decide a law enforcement officer can't be sued for his or her actions. Representative Jeff Evangelos says the law needs to go to make officers more accountable. Maine's abysmal record of justifying every single police shooting since records have been kept with a score of approximately 170 to zero ruled justified by Maine's Attorney General's office highlights the need for this critical reform. He argues qualified immunity lets bad police officers wrongly avoid civil suits. Dale Boyce, who says three of the officers had mental health training, agrees. I have a hard time with training and training and training, and then when they have an opportunity to use that training, they choose not to use it. Why? Because they have qualified immunity no matter what they do. But those in law enforcement, including Representative Matt Harrington, said the complaints miss the mark. Qualified immunity does not allow police officers to go rogue. It simply provides protection against frivolous lawsuits when we've done the right thing during the course of our duties. There's nothing when you use force that looks good about the use of force. But unfortunately, in some cases, you're forced into that because you're defending yourself or somebody else. Cumberland County Sheriff that. Kevin Joyce and many other law enforcement officers said ending qualified immunity would make it even harder to keep and recruit police officers. I'd hate to see a point where officers are going to have to go out and get their own special uh, insurance uh, to protect themselves, their family, and their livelihood. Um, because, again, we're asking them to make decisions, split-second decisions, expecting 100% accuracy 100% of the time. The recruitment and retention issues experienced by police in Maine is a problem of their own doing. Why would a good officer want to work with systemic abuses tolerated and encouraged? Sheriff Joyce said qualified immunity is really about judges, since they're the ones who decide when it can and cannot be used, but also argues that protection, which covers all kinds of public employees, should not be taken away from police. Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. The legislature's Judiciary Committee will decide what to do about this issue next, and that will likely happen in the next several weeks.